to be honest with you, the more I started digging into this, I saw so many people were hurt by these people, by these roofers. Today we have an update to an ongoing Call Christina investigation. A roofing contractor whose companies have been the subject of several stories is now under investigation by the Attorney General's office. And now a new call into the Call Christina hotline, this time from an HOA president in Margate complaining of failing roofs there. Here is Local 10 Consumer Investigator Christina Vasquez's report. This roof leak after roof leak, and they were like that from day one. Fairway Views Homeowner Association President Sitcha Friedman is pointing out roof repairs in progress at these Margate townhomes. The roofs were replaced after Hurricane Wilma, and when they began to fail, the association hired a consultant to evaluate them. A lot of them have, the valleys are crooked. As you can see those little decks in front of the windows. The roof report shows that they were never replaced even though we paid for it. In that 2014 report, the roofing inspector the association hired concludes, quote, it is my professional opinion that the design of the flat roofs and bad workmanship on the tile roofs are the primary cause of the existing leaks. One of the roofers on the job, David B. Taylor. That's what you Friedman. Told me. When we asked the brash roofing contractor about her complaint, first he got vulgar. You might like things like that in your face, but I'm not a fan of that. Then he tried to grab the mic. We're giving you an opportunity to give a statement. You're, you're doing that or you're not doing that, but you can't grab yeah, the I'm microphone. To... Before telling us what he thought of Friedman. This lady's crazy. It's all bull. In Fairway View, we did a great job, and it's Good roofs. When we asked him specifically about the leaking roofs and failing flashing. Do you know how big that project was? You know, you might have one or two mistakes. It's life. And it would seem a pattern. I called Christina when I found out that you guys had a report on Eagle's Nest. Last fall, homeowners at Eagle's Nest in Coral Springs told the Call Christina team the roofs replaced after Hurricane Wilma were already falling apart. Supposed to last for 20 years. They basically lasted for four. One of the contractors the association filed suit against was David B. Taylor. Taylor blamed the roof failures on Chinese nails. That suit is still pending. I'm not responsible for the nails. Then there were complaints into Call Christina from West Miami Dade condo owners at the Beach Club at Fountain Blue Park. While under a stop work order related to a workers' comp case, Taylor submitted a bid there. Records obtained by the Call Christina team documented connections between Taylor, who won the bid, and two of the companies that submitted bids. Associations Taylor didn't deny. It's an open bid. Yes, I gave the bid out. And then last month, Taylor was arrested in Broward, and then again in Miami-Dade, charged with workers' comp fraud, accused of knowingly violating this stop work order related to a workers' comp case. At this point, Friedman... I've seen all my neighbors and everybody's roof leaking, including mine. ...wants to see state regulators investigate her complaint to find out exactly what went wrong here and who is responsible. I believe that now with all the authorities involved, we will get to the bottom of it. While the Attorney General's office did confirm they are looking into the bid rigging allegations at the Beach Club in West Miami-Dade, when we asked if they were reviewing this latest complaint out of Fairway Views in Margate, we were told that since they are actively investigating David B. Taylor, they could not comment any further. Of course, we will keep you posted. In the newsroom, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.